Hawks, for the first time in franchise history, the Atlanta Hawks have the number one pick. This is huge for the Atlanta Hawks. And I think it's a great chance for them to, you know, really rebuild, start fresh, and, and put together a special roster. Because right now, you know, they're, they're kind of in that middle ground, which I'll touch on in a second, but the middle ground is the worst place to be in the NBA. I think the Atlanta Hawks should draft Alex Starr, that huge guy from France, um, who a lot of people are talking about now. They need to pick him up, a seven-footer that can make things happen, can do some stuff with the ball, can play great defense. Pick that guy up. Um, it's rumors of trading Trey Young. Go ahead, let him go. It's time, bro. It's time for the Atlanta Hawks to trade Trey Young, bro, because, I mean, I know what he can do on the offensive end. I know what he brings to a team. But do you really want someone who's such a defensive liability to be the star of your team? Do you want that guy to be the one who you depend on in all aspects of the game to set the defensive tone, to set the offensive tone, to set the pace? I mean, you know, you can win some ball games in the regular season with the Trey Young, but I'm a firm believer that you're going to need a guy who's above 5'10 to really make that difference to, you know, win a championship. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about, right? Winning championships. Trey Young is not going to get that done for you. Being a liability on defense is going to hurt them in the long run, you know, come crunch time, especially when you got point guards who are mostly 6'4 and above. Got a lot of great, talented guys that can play both sides of the ball. And Trey Young just being a smaller guard, it's it's hard, man. And I know, you know, with the Atlanta Hawks team, it was a lot of injuries. So we didn't get to see them at, at full strength um, this year. They got a new coach and stuff in the middle of the season. It was a lot of stuff going on for the Hawks. And, and you know, I'll, I'll honor that. But with this franchise being in this middle ground, they have absolutely no direction. I can give them credit for you know, trying to make things work. But when I see the organization and the team has no direction, it's evident. It's clear because nobody's game complements one another. You look at Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. Trey Young's game does not complement DeJounte Murray. And DeJounte Murray's game does not complement Trey Young. So to me, when I'm looking at stuff like that, I'm like, it's clear and it's evident that they have no direction. They out here just making crazy random moves to try and bring some sort of hype to Atlanta and make something work. But we haven't seen it put together and run smoothly all season. You know, regardless of if they were healthy or not, because if the two stars on your team don't gel together and they don't work well together, what do you think is going to happen to the rest of the role guys? The rest of the role guys on the team are not going to understand where they fit in when the two stars, the two leaders of the team don't even understand where they fit in. So I know Quinn Snyder is new there. But in the time he was there, I didn't really see it make I, I didn't see him make it work. And he was working with a limited amount of time. But, you know, when, when your two stars are, are pushing away from each other instead of pulling together like magnets, you know, it, it's hard for everybody else to fall in line. So, you know, that's something I've observed from there. And, you know, it's time for that change in Atlanta, bro, because you got to get out that middle ground right now. You got people saying, OK, well, you know, hey, we're not too bad. We're not the worst in the NBA, but, you know, we can still possibly make the playoffs. Nothing is going to happen if you make the playoffs. It's time to blow it up. And if you rebuild, you start from ground one. You don't lose anything. You got a chance to actually establish a new name for yourself, a new brand for yourself rather than just being a, a 10th seed and hoping to get in the playoffs. So, you know, that's my that's my my logic on it. And I think for the final verdict, looking at everything that the Atlanta Hawks have done, it just proves they have no direction. You, you, you brought DeJounte Murray there to play with Trey Young. It didn't make sense to me in the first place, but they did it. They traded John Collins, which I thought was a huge, crucial piece to the Atlanta Hawks. And that hurt the roster, clearly. So... Do what you got to do. Trey Young has some interest over in San Antonio. Clint Capella has some interest. They both got some good trade value, especially Trey Young. So, you know, go ahead. Utilize that first round draft pick. Draft Alex Starr. Trade Trey Young and bring in another impactful wing and a forward that's going to complement the talent that you have on that roster. Because right now, it's all over the place. And personally, I fear that Atlanta, they're going to blow this opportunity 